We wanted to see if we could improve personalized care for type 2 diabetes using a classification which could then guide intensity of treatment and intensity of reviews. We had an aim of looking at whether we could generate new subgroups in a population using simple, widely available clinical measures and an ethnically diverse population. We identified three main subgroups of diabetes and we termed these mild age-related diabetes, mild obesity-related diabetes and severe hyperglycemic diabetes. And we found important ethnic differences in the distribution of the clusters and cluster membership. And Sally, did you want to? Yes, I mean, I think what the first and most important thing to say is that the mild age-related diabetes group actually made up about 80% of the whole cohort. So it's by far the most common. Um, what's perhaps interesting is that if you're South Asian, your age-related diabetes starts at about the age of 50. Whereas if you're white, it's about 70, but the characteristics are the same. The mild obesity related diabetes made up about 10% of the overall cohort um, and was actually commonest in white groups. So the ones who were really worried about the severe hyperglycemic diabetics only make up less than 10% of the whole cohort. And I think that's, that's a really important message. We found that ethnicity had a really important amplifying effect on these differences so that the risks for microvascular conditions were increased across all the severe hyperglycemic groups, but were increased even further for South Asian and black groups. Don't think of diabetes as one condition. Um, try and uh, use this kind of information as a way of stratifying which group this person in front of you falls into.